you getting that? My name is Allison Pickle, and I'm here to tell you about my book, The Last Corday. I have always loved horses, ever since I was a little girl, and horses play a large role in my story. Uh, as a Lutheran, I always give up something for Lent, usually desserts or sweets. One year, I decided to give up writing, and so I didn't go to my writer's group, I didn't look at any of my manuscripts, I didn't um, read writing magazines, I just put it all away and gave it up for that six week period. During that time I kept getting an idea for a story. It kept coming back to me and coming back to me but I would push it away so that I wouldn't be thinking about it. Then on Easter Sunday I got a composition notebook and I wrote across the front my religious epic pilgrimage novel and I began taking notes. This was going to be the story of a of a um, young girl. I had it set on another planet where they worship a god called Dadachi, a three-hearted god. The beings that live on this planet are called Dada. They're very human-like. At first they worshiped their god, but then they began, like humans, to drift away. So Dadachi instituted the idea of chordates. A chordate is someone appointed to carry grief from the planet. They walk across the planet collecting grief, and this grief is actually borne by the horse. The horse carries a chain with a small box around its neck and collects all the grief from the planet until the weight becomes so unbearable that many horses lost their lives doing this. So Dadachi decided that once and for all he would send the middle heart, Dot, to become unhuman on the planet. And Dot would carry grief once and for all forever from the planet. But Dot was murdered before he could accomplish this. Ever since his death, none of the Chordates have been able to reach the end of their journey. He was murdered by Necros, who is the enemy of Dadachi. Our story opens with the third Chordate since the death of Dot. This third Chordate, Talasa, is getting ready to start her journey. She will not be carrying grief. She will be carrying the good news that grief has already been taken from the planet. But as she begins her journey, Necros, the enemy, knows that all prophecies point to this one young Dada. And she begins her journey, only Dadachi knows what lies ahead for her. She is completely innocent at the beginning of her journey. But by the time she finishes, her faith will be tried in many, many, many ways. I had a lot of fun writing this book, and I hope that you will have fun reading it. Thank you.